Today I'm going to be talking a little bit about blog analysis, which is essentially is any type of uh, research that uses blogs as a source of data. Now there's not one particular tradition in blog analysis. Uh, we can use quantitative or qualitative or mixed methods approaches uh, to the analysis of blogs. So blogs are a relatively recent development in communication. Uh, there's lots of different types of bloggers, lots of different types of blogs out there, but one thing they have in common is that they're generally associated with a quite an informal, intimate style of writing, a little bit like an online journal. So we might ask the question, well, why would social science researchers be interested in this? Well, I think, first of all, um, researchers are interested in the ways that communication and our interactions are changing and how uh, media like blogs are implicated in this. So uh, social researchers have... Uh, looked at the practice of blogging itself and this might be um, conducting a social network analysis of the links between blogs and looking at the social networks that spring up around uh, blogs. The second reason I think social scientists are interested in blogging is the fact that internet communication is part of everyday life and we can see traces of social life throughout the internet. So my own work uh, was a qualitative analysis of travel blogs and this is really, uh, was trying to use blogs as a contemporary form of documentary resource. So a little bit um, like doing some kind of diary analysis. So using blogs in this way, there's some definite practical advantages in terms of gaining access to a wider range of participants. Another practical advantage of using blogs is that if you're interested in uh, textual representations of experience, you already have all your data in textual format ready to uh, import into qualitative analysis software. What I was also able to access using blog data was accounts of experience that are very natural, that are using the blogger's own words, uh, their own representations of their uh, travel experiences so that these are reflections and this is data that's not prompted by a researcher so this sort of blog data is not uh, driven by what a researcher wants to know it's what the blogger wants to share with a particular audience and so in this way um, we get very different sorts of accounts of experience that we might get with say sitting somebody down and interviewing them now one of the issues that's raised uh, by blog analysis and particularly using pre-existing blogs. For example, how can you tell who the author of a blog is? Does this matter for your research questions? How do we deal with the dynamic and shifting uh, nature of blogs? Blogs aren't static and fixed, they're something that's con that are constantly changing. In terms of ethics, can we treat blogs as fair game for researchers to collect and analyse and use as data or do we need to think a bit more carefully about what counts as public and what counts as private? So I think that what Methods at Manchester does is it provides a forum for people who are interested in these sorts of methodological innovations to come together to share expertise, to share knowledge and to debate some of these issues and I think that as our lives increasingly get played out online um, this is going to become more and more important that we come together and uh, work out how we can use data like blogs in social science research.